Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Modern Motors. We have the number one device that every Alfa Romeo owner should have. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Every single day I get questions. Ricky, I got a check engine light or I got a throttle control or I don't know what my code is or what's your zero to 60 time? What's your max horsepower? Uh, what else do I get? Burnout mode without getting tuned. Is there a launch control option? Basically, I get hundreds of messages any given month, any given day. This is gonna be your solution, or hopefully a small solution to a lot of your guys' problems. This was sent over by Alfissimo. This is the Squadra Performance Logger. It is much different than the Squadra Tune, because I know you guys are gonna get confused, so don't get confused. The Squadra Tune enhances performance. The Squadra Logger does a ton of cool stuff that we're gonna get into today. Before you guys even message me, if you guys don't have one of these, you guys are just wasting my time and your time at this point. <laughs> You guys should definitely have one. But anyways, we're gonna show you how to put this in your car, how to activate it, um, and kind of go through some of the modules that it has. So first, you're obviously gonna to wanna to turn on your car. Obviously, you guys know I have uh, this aftermarket screen, so you guys will see like your regular car screen. I believe you go down to settings, <coughs> cluster, um, then you're gonna turn all, I already turned everything off obviously, but you're gonna turn all of this in for uh, show audio off, show phone off, trippy off, everything, you're gonna turn everything off. So that's what I went ahead and did and I turned everything off. Um, you're gonna need that because it's gonna pull up right here where your radio normally pulls up. It's gonna pull up there so that you need to turn all of this off. <laughs> Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the logger right here. You see it says 2.0, this is for me. And you're gonna plug it into the OBD2 port. Not know where your OBD2 port is. It's gonna be right under here. <clears throat> All of them for the Julia Stelvio are right over here. And again, this does work for the Julia and Stelvio. <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna plug mine in. I kind of already know where it's at. If you need to get underneath there, you can. Once that's plugged in, it uh, it still won't show yet. Uh, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna hold a few different buttons. You're gonna hold this for a few seconds. One, two. It should pull up something over here. There you go. You're gonna pull, push this button right here. One, two, and then you're gonna pull back on this shifter. One, two, and that's gonna say enjoy your ride. I don't know if that's the exact way. I think that's what I read right, uh, but it works every time I do this. <laughs> so it's one, two, one, two, one, two, and you're locked in. It's gonna say enjoy your ride. Right. Basically, all you need are these little buttons over here, and you're gonna be able to toggle. So if I push down. It toggles, wow, push down, toggles, wow. If I want to do something, I would push this button first. Um, so I'm not gonna go through all of uh, <clears throat> the features because there's a lot. If you really wanna check out all the features, I highly recommend going to Alfisimo's website. They have literally everything broken down, but I am gonna go through and like explain what each of them, not explain, but like tell you what they all are. <laughs> So here is the most critical. Um, I know a lot of you guys have check engine lights that po randomly pop up or a throttle control, which is a standard check engine light. Basically what this is saying, no DTC found on PCM, is basically saying there's no errors found. <clears throat> um, there's no check engine lights. If there were to be a check engine light, I would just have to push this button and erase them. Um, I actually have a clip of it because I've had this thing for actually a month and I've been using it. <clears throat> so I have a video right here that I'm gonna play for you guys uh, of me clearing the code so you see how it works. Well, I was able to pull the code for you guys. So in case on the off chance you do throw a code, you can click this. It says erasing all DTCs. And now it says no DTCMs are found. And now we are back in our normal drives. On the off chance that you cannot clear your check engine light with just a simple clear um, and you need somebody to investigate and you're in the DFW area, you want to reach out to 3 Cross Garage, which is today's sponsor of the video. 3 Cross Garage can come service your car right at your door. You do not have to go anywhere um, and they can bring you to a resolution for your DTCs found on your PCM. Um, make sure you check them out and again, thank you for sponsoring today's video. So you have launch control and burnout mode. Um, in order for you to utilize those, you have to turn off traction first, so traction control. This is really cool. So if you have race mode, um, this is still really cool because when you push this, it like takes off all of the nannies. When you have race mode, there's still some interference a little bit. Um, so this, once you push this button, again, on. Wow, it's taking off everything. Oh, wow. 
for those people that want to do unethical things on the street or if you're stuck in snow <laughs> this would be the button that you want um, again this really works for people that are going to track events uh, people that are going to drag ships, people that are trying to do stuff that the car is going to prevent them from doing because it's trying to save your life. Um, this would be the best uh, tool for that. <clears throat> You're going to push this here to clear out some of the codes. I can still go into, and I can still go into race, which is really cool. Nice. So when you get into these modes, right, <clears throat> um, now I can go back up to burnout mode and boom, burnout mode is on. So if I wanted to do a burnout, this is the mode. We're not gonna do, I know you guys wanna see all the crazy stuff. This is more of an informational video. We're not gonna do any of the crazy stuff in this video. Uh, we're just showing you what all the features are and how we've been utilizing it over the past few months now, or the past month really. Again, we're gonna turn burnout mode off. Launch assist is super duper cool. I am very excited to use this whenever we go, <laughs> try to get a time attack. But you can hold it, it holds it at 14 pounds, which is really, really cool. Um, again, track people, this would be the best bet for you guys. The main functions are the traction control removal and uh, the uh, check, clearing the check engine lights while you're driving is like super beneficial. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, <clears throat> so now we're gonna go down and you're gonna see you have like the G Force, all that good stuff. It tells you your max. And those of you who really care about your temperatures, this is where your temps are. There you go. Temps. This gives you your max uh, RPMs. So if I rev it, you see how the RPMs are going up? Wow. Um, this is gonna give you your horsepower reading. So however much horsepower you have. I haven't really pushed my car. You, In order for you to get the right reading here, you actually have to push your car to the max potential. I drive in the street, I haven't pushed it, but we will get the right reading up here power and torque very cool while you're driving you can see all that gearbox temperature for those of you who are beating up on your gearbox oil coolant very beneficial and this is the one that we're gonna prove all of you haters wrong <laughs> I knew you were gonna say <laughs> this is your air intake temps we're gonna run this on the stock box we're gonna run it on this box and we are going to disprove your power loss logic <laughs> Um, but yes, air intake temps for those who care. Uh, if you guys are playing with different intakes, this would be very beneficial. For those, this is really for the, the nerdy nerds because it also pulls all your data logs and stuff like that. So if you want to review any of that information or send it off to a tuner, it would be used for that as well. It has an SD card and everything that you can plug into it. Uh, Boost Max, pretty cool, right? Max driven speed, 146 miles per hour. Is that hard? Yeah, that's mine, sorry. <laughs> Uh, again, for those of you time attacks, you can get all the information right here on your screen. You don't have to go to, I mean, you should go to the drag strip, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, 6100, it gives you your best times, super cool. Zero to 100, again, time attack people. And those of you who are like super obsessed with this time, your zero to 60 time. And again, I will try to attempt to get a really good record on here, so my best doesn't look atrocious. <laughs> Skip over that. And then squadron tuning says hello, get to the exit, and you can go to enter setup menu. Um, again, my seatbelt alarm is already off, but you could switch that off. You don't need to do all the programming, which is super nice. Your seatbelt's off. I really don't recommend like a lot of pro products really strong, but I get DMs all the time about, again, zero to 60 time. What, how do I know how much horsepower if I do this mod, this mod, this mod? Uh, are the intakes really beneficial? Um, you know, everything that you guys really message me about, this is gonna have your answer so you can do all of your own testing at home, all of your own, you know, time attacks and everything that you really need will be done through this. This is a great, great tool for every alpha owner to have in their car. Again, really the main selling point here is clearing those DTCs. But if you're gonna go with a hybrid turbo, or if you're gonna go do some pretty crazy mods, again, you probably want a logger to track everything that's going on, um, which this would be beneficial for. We're gonna go ahead and put our traction back on because we need that. <laughs> um, I know you guys know that Alfisimo is a huge sponsor of our channel um, and helps us do a lot of these crazy things. Um, I asked them to film a segment for this video, um, so I'm gonna play that now. And uh, again, thank you to Jason for supporting us uh, and bringing us this far and giving us these really cool products to test out. Hey everyone, this is Jason with Alfisimo International. 
Uh, today I'm going to go over uh, a few things about the performance logger from Squadra. This is a uh, dongle that plugs into the OBD2 port to allow uh, the driver to have uh, extra functions and uh, a ton of data available to them. Um, also logging capabilities via, via the SD card um, slot in the back here. Um, all the functions and all the data that's available and how it all works is available on my website. But for now, I just wanted to quickly tell you about that. Plus, uh, there are over a thousand loggers out there at this point. We are getting a new one, uh, update for these. Um, now they're gonna be even more accurate than they were before because we're tapping into the GPS. Tapping into the GPS into the car means that all the data that is coming to you um, in the vehicle and on the SD card while logging is going to be very, very accurate, um, you know, within a percent or two uh, of accuracy, you know, as accurate as anything else out there on the market that is GPS and so forth. So it's going to be a really cool um, upgrade. I actually have it on my logger now. We are getting very accurate readings, uh, testing our new Astrema tune, which is coming out soon. And then um, you're more than welcome to uh, email me or call me with other questions um, and go to the website to read more about this because I don't want to bore you guys with all the details that this thing does. It is official. Alfissimo and Modern Motors are teaming up to give back to the community. We are giving an Alfa Romeo owner a tune. So it can be a Julia, it can be a Stelvio, it can be a QV, it can be a 4C, any single thing that has a Squadra tune, we are giving away to one of you guys. All you have to do to enter is watch this video all the way through, be subscribed to Modern Motors, like the video, and comment anything, preferably while you want the tune, but you can comment anything you so please, it will automatically get you entered. That means you can comment from uh, brother, sister, girlfriends, whoever's account, and get multiple entries. So if you have a burner account where you talk bad about us, you can go comment from that account as well. <laughs> um, but any any person that subscribed, watched the video, likes the video, and comments is automatically entered. Once we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna come back to this video, and if you have entered in, we are going to raffle off from the comments. 10,000 subscribers is a thank you to you guys, a thank you to us. We're gonna give out a tune um, and hopefully everyone is happy. But huge shout out to Alfisimo. I asked on Instagram what you guys wanted as the next giveaway. Overwhelmingly, you guys said a tune. So that is my present, that is Alfisimo's present to making this the number one channel. You get a free tune and all you have to do is be subscribed. Remember, as many entries as you can possibly humanly imagine, we could be at 10K tomorrow if you guys had then enough energy. <laughs> If you guys we felt, put in the work. If you guys put in the work, you gotta have a tune by tomorrow night. <laughs> um, but regardless of, we just want to say thank you for getting us to the even the 8K mark. Uh, thank you for this incredible journey. We have two really cool cars, really cool builds on this channel, and we can't say thank you enough. Some of you guys have been along for the entire journey. Remember when we've had zero subscribers or one subscriber, two subscribers. You guys remember when we first started doing a QV build, a GTM build, yeah. Stelvio pickup. Uh, so we appreciate you guys coming along the journey the entire way with us. Uh, words cannot describe our gratitude, uh, but hopefully a free tune can. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> Um, and if uh, we hit the goal way sooner than expected, uh, maybe we'll throw some extra free stuff in there. Uh -huh. um, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Maybe. If you hit it by tomorrow, I will give something crazy away. <laughs> there's about there's a, a free car. There, there's, there's a free. There's about a thousand of you guys who watch. So all of you guys will do is just subscribe to two different accounts, and then you guys got it tomorrow. <laughs> Um, but no, we truly, truly appreciate um, everything that you guys uh, have done for this channel and how far you brought us. Um, shout out to people like Alfisimo, Three Cross Garage, a, a whole bunch of slew of people that have got us to this point and has made us what we are. Yeah. Um, we couldn't have done it without any of you guys watching. We couldn't have done it without any of our sponsors. Um, truly, truly blessed. Uh, and yeah, that's where we're going to end today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, the Squadra Logger, again, I highly recommend you guys pick one up. It is a very cool product, not because Alfisimo is sponsoring this, but because I literally use it yeah. every time a check engine light comes out. Yeah. Um, my turbo is going out. 
So that means I have to upgrade. Uh, so even faster than what I was expecting. So wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. I've been clearing my uh, P0299 code uh, on the logger literally every day I drive. So um, yeah, that's where we're going to end today's video. Highly recommend you get the product. Go enter, send it to your friend, send it to your best friend. I don't care who you send it to. Go get entered. We love you guys. We'll, we'll see, see you in the next 10K. one. Okay. We'll see you at 10K. Oh, hey, very cool. Outro. Hi. Right. <laughs> cool. Outro.